Today, I would like to show you the Workbench app that is part of the XDR capabilities of the Trend Micro Vision 1 platform. This app's primary purpose is to alert you to the threats detected within your environment and prioritize them. To access the Workbench app, you can navigate from the left navigation menu or just click on the Go To App button within the Workbench widget from the Security Posture dashboard. The Workbench app shows you all the alerts that have been triggered by the platform's expert security analytics and detection model. This page allows you to prioritize your alerts. The security score is calculated based on the detection model that was engaged, as well as the scope of impact that assesses how many servers, endpoints, users, and mailbox that were involved. Upon opening an alert, you'll be presented with all the assets related to the alert. This could include websites, users, mailboxes, workstations, servers, containers, or maybe even command line usage and more. Events of the attack are visible on the left. As you click on the events, the relevant assets will be highlighted to the right. All of these events are mapped to the MITRE technique, and if the threat investigator is not fully sure about what technique it is, they can always click on the link which takes them directly to the MITRE Attack Framer website where they can understand more about what they're looking at. In this example, a spear phishing email was used in this attack. One of the users inadvertently opened the URL which resulted in downloading a malicious file. Then, the endpoint ran an obfuscated PowerShell command and created a persistence into the registry pointing to a certain LNK file. This attack can be attributed to a threat actor named APT29 or mostly common known as the Cozy Bear. In this situation, time is of the essence. You need to be able to act and respond as quickly as possible. Workbench app provides detailed alert information and a unified view for more effective investigation and allows you to respond right from the console. When right-clicking on an asset, you are presented with a context menu that may vary based on assets. For an endpoint, you can do this to view the relevant information about the endpoint. You can also do this to access the execution profile. This execution profile provides details about the endpoint in question, the action that was flagged in all the files, process, and network connections logged during the execution. By clicking on the processes, you are presented with detailed information including the user running the process and the command line. The context menu also allows you to start a remote shell session to the affected endpoint. With this, you can directly access an endpoint and execute the necessary CLI commands for your investigation. For email, you can do this to view the relevant information about the email message such as the subject, sender, affected mailboxes, attachments, URL, message ID, and the email header. You can also sweep the mailboxes and take response actions such as quarantine or deleting all instances of the email message within your environment. When quarantine or deleting a message, you have the ability to select specific users or all the mailboxes that the email message is currently residing in. In this example, we can select all of them and quarantine right from the same console. And since the alert also shows the sender of the email, we can also take actions such as blocking the sender. For network traffic, you can access the context menu to view the network analytics report. This report provides an in-depth analysis of the network traffic at the top and the chronological view of the network traffic at the bottom allowing you to play back the events. For indicators such as the URL or domains, we can add those to our block list. Integrating with both endpoint and messaging solutions gives us the capability to block malicious URLs right from the console. For indicators such as suspicious files or processes, you can access the context menu to collect the files right from the platform. This is useful for further investigation of the sample. You can also have the ability to pivot your searches directly from the Workbench app. For example, 
If you wanted to pivot and search this URL to see where else in the environment this URL can be found, you can pivot over the search app. There are a variety of search options available to the threat investigators with an easy to use Kibana style query language allowing them to search based on different criteria as well as take the response actions right from the search app. This is how our trend micro brings together telemetry from multiple security layers into a comprehensive yet easy to understand view. This is the Trend Micro Vision 1 Workbench.